Hey, what's going on everybody? How are you people doing here? So here's my recap of the Croatia and the Denmark game. And first things first, man, big shout out to Croatia. They were superb today in this game, you know. I had Denmark winning this game, but Croatia, they made a crazy uh, comeback when, uh, well, they turned things around when uh, Denmark equalized because I thought the game was going to end in a draw. But then, you know, Croatia... They were able to pick themselves back up and they scored a game winner here. So overall, man, today's performance by Croatia, I gotta admit, Croatia, they were superb today, especially Luka Modric. It makes you realize here that as long as Croatia still got those key players here with Modric, uh, Perisic, I think that Croatia, they will 100%, uh, I think, be able to accomplish anything if I'm being honest here now, it's going to be hard for Croatia to try and repeat their success of the 2018 World Cup. But today, man, uh, in the nation, Nations League, I have to admit here, Croatia, they were very dominant today in midfield and they were just uh, brilliant. They just played really brilliant football that, you know, whenever you watch the Croatia games, you can't help but, but um, you know, be very impressed with just the way how Croatia are able to play together as a team, you know, instead of relying on just one player to do everything Croatia, they just play together as a team, and that's why they have, you know, I think a lot of, uh, you know, success and luck in these games is because of just how Croatia are just always brilliant in midfield, you know, and today's performance by Croatia, in my opinion, man, the match, without a doubt, I'm going to say it's Luka Modric, I mean, let's be honest, Luka Modric, he was the ultimate uh, hero, well, even though he didn't score today, I feel like Luka Modric, he was, without a doubt, the ultimate hero today for Croatia and helping uh, steer their midfield and all that, because that's the thing with Luka Modric on your team, is that he's make he makes the entire Croatian team around him really good, and with Luka Modric's presence there in midfield for Croatia, they always have a shot in the games, you know, and this is, um, this is no cap, because as long as they got Luka Modric, I think Croatia will definitely make it pretty far at the World Cup, I still feel like, but just today, uh, Denmark, Eriksson, he equalized, and you thought Denmark were going to hold Croatia to a draw, but Croatia, they came from behind, and now they have a very great chance of being able to, you know, win this group here, so to Croatia, what a, uh, what a performance by him today, man, Croatia were just freaking brilliant, man, I don't know what else to say, but I was just, uh, you know, amazed by Croatia's performance today, so yeah, guys, uh, let me know what you thought about the Croatia game in the comment section below, uh, damn good game, really enjoyed seeing from, really enjoyed seeing Croatia's brilliance, uh, today in, uh, in, uh, in midfield particularly, that's what makes, you know, this Croatia team such a very interesting team, but yeah, guys, uh, that's the video, like, comment, subscribe, see ya.